and our species is lupus. Thus, the species name Candis lupus. Mm. So here's some quick facts about gray wolves. This is really gray wolves are mammals and they're carnivores. The average lifespan in the wild is this six is to eight really years. Our size, head and body, 36 to 63 inches and their tail is 13 to 20 inches. Okay. Their weight is anywhere between 40 up to 175 pounds. Oh. They live in packs and they are considered endangered. Evolution. Wolves have been living on Earth for a long time. Many paleontologists believe that there was a small group of carnivores around 50 million years ago in the Tertiary period known as the Mycidia, even living through the Cretaceous period. It is believed that the gray wolf originated in Asia and crossed the Pleistocene land bridge 700,000 years ago into North America. Around 16,000 to 17,000 years ago, a close relative to the gray wolf known as the dire wolf became extinct. They shared the continents for nearly half a million years. <laughs> species representation. The gray wolf has three main subspecies. These are the North American gray wolf, the Eurasian gray wolf, and the red wolf. Originally, there were 24 different wolves in the North American gray wolf subspecies category before being grouped into just five in 1995. Also, there are 10 wolves in the Eurasian gray subspecies and three in the red wolf subspecies. There are many different types of wolves, but some are not classified in the subspecies categories. These include the Egyptian jackal, the Ethiopian wolf, the Indian wolf, the Maine wolf, and the dingo. There are three extinct species. The dire wolf, as I mentioned earlier, the armed prisoner's wolf, and the Candace Edwardi. <coughs> Habitat. Gray wolves are normally found in northern climate regions and forests where they can easily catch their prey. But they can also be found in grasslands, swamps, and deserts. No matter where they live, they need to be able to build dens so that they can properly reproduce uh -uh. their own. Uh -uh. Get up. Get up. Reproduce. Get up right As you can see, the figure on the left shows the normal reproduction cycle of the whole. From when it's a pup to when it reaches its sexual maturity. Gray wolves reproduce sexually with the average litter being four to six pups. But as the pups age, they begin to hunt at eight months. They reach their sexual maturity between two to three years. And they have an average lifespan in the wild from six to eight years, and it can be doubled in captivity. Living conditions. With wolves being the largest members of the dog family, gray wolves are by far the most common. The gray wolf as of right now is considered to be endangered. Wolves, especially in the Idaho, Montana, and Wisconsin area, are being threatened and protested against. And in those exact same areas, wolves are direct competitors for meat consumption in the winter. Also noted, the gray wolf is in danger of becoming extinct in Egypt, with only around 30 to 50 wolves remaining. And as you can see, the map to your right shows in red, where wolves reside and across the earth. Food consumption and diet. The gray wolf is near the top of the trophic level. This means that they are the top predators in their area. As I mentioned earlier, gray wolves are carnivores and they hunt in packs. What they hunt for are large herbivores such as deer, elk, or moose. As seen in these pictures, you can tell that the buffalo is much bigger than the wolf. But with more than one wolf surrounding the buffalo, they use teamwork to take it down. 
when they're not hunting large herbivores, they can also consume small mammals, lizards, and fruit. Did you know that a single wolf can eat up to 20 pounds of food in one meal? That's a lot of food. <laughs> Anatomy. What you have seen before you is a skeletal view and the furry view of the gray wolf. Key notes on the furry view of the gray wolf include the large brain capacity, very strong jaws for holding prey, and the fact that they have a streamlined shape. This helps them for speed when they pursue prey. And looking at the skeletal view, you can tell that the skull of the wolf is a lot longer than a human skull. In continuing with anatomy, wolves have high stability when running. This is due to the fact that their radius and yoda bones are locked in position. An interesting feature that wolves have are five toes on their forefeet and only four toes on their hind feet. Wolves are known as digigrade animals. As you can see, it looks like my thigh has gone past my knee. This is due to the fact that wolves' legs are different than human legs. And this requires wolves to walk on their toes. As wolves walk on their toes, they spread apart with each step so that they don't sink in snow or any other soft surface. This also makes their legs longer, helping them run faster. Wolves have great eyesight and a keen sense of smell. With 200 million receptors in their muzzle, they can smell 100 times better than humans.